Once upon a time, in a small coast of England somewhere, lived a train named Clarence the Crank Engine. He had six wheels, a short stumpy funnel, and quite a disrespectful attitude towards those around him. So one day, the big controller had assigned Clarence to pick up a heavy train. Only this time, his train got longer and longer and longer. Clarence's train was so heavy, so he decided to rest by a railway crossing. However, he started getting in people's way, and drivers got very angry with him. One of them shouted, I'm late for work, what's the bloody hold up? A little old lady shouted to Clarence, Get moving, stupid! Soon a small boy crawled across Clarence's train, on his way to school. Hey, what do you think you're doing, you little twerp? Snapped Clarence. Good God, will you chill out? I'm just late for school. <gasps> but I can't move over. I don't have any room. Wait, excuse me? Yeah, that's right. Bug off. Leave me alone. <gasps> Soon Clarence was on his way to the station. And nine miles long. He carried all sorts of things that people needed, like medical bandages, corn, nitroglycerin, firecrackers, some strange green substance, question mark, question mark, Michael Bay themed explosives, question mark, and all sorts of zoo animals. What's liquefied nitroglycerin? And why am I pulling so many tankers full of it? Asked Clarence. Besides, I'm tired. Can't another engine do it? Never you mind, Clarence, said the big controller. I mapped the whole route back at home. That's an odd way to put it, and I don't know how to respond to it. Just mind your business, Clarence. Try not to get into too much trouble, you good-for-nothing pyro machine. Sorry, I'm a what? asked Clarence. Soon enough, though, as soon as Clarence came to a steep hill, a wheel on one of his tankers was starting to overheat. His engineer hadn't had the chance to inspect it in months. He was worried. It seems that your caboose is loose. You can't drive with a loose caboose. Ah, bloody cheek. You're just saying that to get onto my skin. Then it was too late. Uh-oh, said Clarence. Clarence the Crank Engine's train soon sped away, and then it happened. Oh, oh well, said Clarence. It could be worse. At least my tankers didn't ex- <laughs> Meanwhile, on the other side of the coast... Oh my, said Yandel. The explosion obliterated a small minefield somewhere. The smoke cleared, but the damage was done. Now Clarence was very upset. The obese controller had soot on his hands, but he didn't care. He could just wipe it off with all his new money. As for Clarence, he was put in his shed, basically as a train equivalent of temporary confinement. But I think he deserved his punishment, don't you?